You guys! Period. Period, 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 period. Like, it literally is giving. Hello beautiful people, it's Mariah and welcome back to another vlog. Girl, if you are new, go ahead and subscribe because you are going to love it here, okay? And the time is currently 10.32 a.m. Hold on, I only send this text message. Anyway, we're at the gas station and I hate pumping gas, you guys know this about me, but we gotta get this done because I'd rather pump this gas than be walking. Let me get my hand sanitizer out though. When I come back in the car, I can spray this on. But we have a bunch of stuff to get done today, y'all. I'm really excited about this Zoom meeting I have later on today. I just, like, things are really happening for your girl. Like, things are really, like, flowing in motion. And there are times where I do feel stagnant. I feel like um, a lot of y'all can relate to this, especially if you're around my age. Like, being in your early 20s, like, is... A whole thing in itself so I don't know who needs to hear this but girl you are doing a good job it is completely normal to feel stagnant to feel confused or whatever but I feel like there are times where I do feel like that and I talk to God about it and he just shows me every single time that I'm doing the right thing I'm doing the right thing and it's gonna happen for me whatever I want in life it's gonna happen for me anyway y'all I didn't even mean to take it there but we went there so whatever but I'm just really blessed and thankful that things are happening like oh my gosh I wish I could say more but like I hate speaking on stuff until it like actually happens so y'all don't know if it happens actually not manifesting like it is gonna happen for me so y'all just gonna have to stay tuned just stay tuned just stay tuned but um let me go pump this gas y'all I actually hate pumping gas like <sighs> and then it's super cold outside and I'm debating if I should turn my car off or not because Folks be saying like your car gonna blow up and stuff, but I ain't never seen nobody car blow. I mean, I don't want to be the example, but I've never seen nobody car blow up pumping gas. Like I've just never seen that. All right, y'all. So we secured the gas, and um, now I'm about to head over to the coffee shop. <laughs> Y'all knew that though. Y'all knew I was going there. Like y'all knew I was going there. And I'm really excited. Something tells me today is gonna be so good. So girl, we're gonna go over there. Anyways, y'all, I feel like I'm gonna make this a weekly vlog or just try to vlog more in general. Cause I feel like my last couple vlogs, they have just been so like bare minimum, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. They have been so bare minimum. And I'm not saying that as far as like quality, because I feel like my quality is always there. It's just like they've been so short and like sporadic. I want to try to make this vlog as regular as possible. Like y'all know we do 45 minute and up vlogs over here, baby. Okay, like and the vlogs have been giving very much 20 minutes, very much 10 minutes. And y'all know that's not me. So we got to get back to vlogging. I have to get back to a space where I just feel comfortable to vlog everything. Vlog all day because that's what I love to do. Anyway, I'm really excited because this weekend starts the first party to um the galentine's festivities we're having multiple parties don't ask why like my friends are just extra we're just extra women <laughs> but honestly we bought so many cute pajamas and we want to wear them all so i'm like we'll just have multiple parties so i'm really excited um we ordered these ones from amazon i'll put the link to them down below because girl they're so cute so sexy but like still like for the girls you know so cute and i also ordered a cute pajama set from wait a minute um if you know you know jada wayda just recently dropped her valentine's day collection and girl it eats down so bad one thing i saw in jada wayda's like comments about her valentine's day drop people were complaining about the prices and i'm just like y'all like we paid the same thing if not more for like skims drops right like when kim be dropping her skim sets for like the holidays and stuff like that i'm not saying they're like crazy ridiculously expensive but they're not affordable like you know what i'm saying so if we're buying kim's skims we can buy jada waiters wait a minute like people really be picking and choosing and i don't like that I don't like it at all. Yeah, I'm really excited about the Valentine's party and then what else is going on? Super Bowl is going on. Super Bowl festivities. Oh, that's why I need me a car tripod. Okay, y'all, so we have arrived to the Salty Donut. I'm so excited to get my coffee. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got me a good part too. It's going to be a good coffee experience. I'm already knowing. Hi. 
How's it going? I'm going well. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, I'm gonna get a hot salted caramel latte with oat milk. And can I get um extra caramel as well? You guys, I really want to get munchkin today, but I'm not gonna do it. Alrighty, y'all, so we secured the coffee. We were securing a lot of stuff this week, okay? We secured a Zoom call with someone really important and an opportunity that I'm really excited about. We secured our gas, even I didn't want to pump gas, and we secured our coffee, okay? I don't know about y'all, but that's a win. That's a win for me, that's a win for me. Anyways, <laughs> I am gonna head home, and I do have some other like things to work on, so I'm not sure when we'll talk again. Um, probably when I am getting ready for the meeting because I want to document this moment for myself and for you guys, but I want to document this moment. So I probably will see you guys next when we are getting ready for the Zoom meeting. And so we were looking for people who not only understand what that is and the power of that, mm -hmm. but also can reach our audience. And so we were looking for people like yourself who may be interested in whether it's creating Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, whatever your platform of preference would be uh, can partner with us and in turn we oftentimes give influencers that check every week month however they want to do it we want to state too that we also do provide the product to you free of charge there mm -hmm. is no cost to you at all is there no preference do we get full creative control or how you get full creative control and uh, most people would do it based off whether audience of uh i guess just of size live so some people right. are tiktok heavy some people are their engagement is instagram heavy uh, it's really depends on your engagement and what you feel like would bring you the most value. We use the word partnership because you're also driving your own income. Right. That's continual examples of it working. It's continual. Right. For you. Right. So right. that's it. Really, is a really encompassing thing once you go long term, and that's what we're looking for in a partner. Um, you said YouTube and TikTok. Perfect. How do you, in the event that you know this goes very well and you wish to scale, how do you just be paid? Okay. And we can put in the contract that it could be various and we can let you know the numbers and you can tell us what you would like. That right. There's no issue regardless. What about your desired um, percentage? Like, what do, you, do you have a ballpark number? And then I, my last question, um, because I actually just had a meeting with an influencer the other day and um, she wanted to... The engagement is higher when it's something that I've already experienced. You know, it makes it in a way that it's more relatable. If you have any questions, we can personally assist you with information. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that right now. Yeah. And we'll email it as well, just so it's in both places. Okay, awesome. Thank you. All right. All right. So thank you for your time. Thank you. You guys nice have a great you. day. It was nice meeting you. Likewise. Have a good one. What? What? <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, this is nuts. That's all I'm gonna say. Wait, am I still in the call? Oh, <laughs> girl, I'm like, are these people still listening to me scream like this? How do I exit this out? Okay, quick zoom. That was freaking nuts. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous at first. I don't think they knew I was nervous because one thing about me, you'll never know. That was really good. I'm really excited. Um. Hopefully it goes well, <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, I was really nervous. Like I was really trying to like get out my head because I feel like whenever I get nervous about like business things, it's literally all in my head. It's all in my head. Um, I know I'm confident in what I do and what I want to do and where I want to go in my life, but it's just like, ugh, like I don't know. I just be nervous sometimes, y'all. I just be nervous and Sometimes I can get my words together. I don't know. But I think I did really good on the call. I do wish I would have asked more questions. But sometimes I'll be feeling like certain questions are dumb questions. So I don't know. I didn't ask as many questions as I would have liked to. I'm an overthinker. It's the cancer woman in me. Like I overthink everything. And that may be like my biggest downfall a little bit. But I don't know. We're working on it. Anywho. Um, I'm about to go call my mom and tell her all the good news and I will see you guys somewhere else on the way. 
as you can probably tell it's a lot later in the day the time is currently 6 37 p.m girl and i just got back from the grocery store i didn't bring you guys with me because i wanted to leave my batteries here so i could charge a little bit for the festivities we have going on tonight the girls called and they want to do dinner so guess who's hosting it's me i'm hosting i'm really excited um so i went to costco i went to publix and on the menu tonight we're doing lamb chops asparagus I'm out of breath. I had to carry all the groceries to my car. And if you live in a condo, an apartment, or a loft, or anything like that, then you know the struggle. Let me catch my breath. Let me catch my breath. Mm. Okay. Anyway, so on the menu tonight, we are doing lamb chops, like a honey barbecue type of thing with a glaze. Super good. We're gonna do asparagus. We're gonna do garlic herb mashed potatoes. And Tally's coming. She's doing the martinis. And we're not having a lemon drop, girl. We're having a lychee martini, okay? Let me tell you something about lychee martinis. If you haven't had it, this is your sign to try it. When I tell you, like, you'll never want to drink anything else ever again. And I'm not going to lie. The lemon drops had me in a chokehold. Had me in a tight chokehold. Like, anytime the girls and I went out, the first thing we was ordering was a lemon drop. And then we got real cute with it. We was getting, like, strawberry lemon drops, passion fruit lemon drops. We graduated. We graduated. And other girls are drinking lychee martinis. And I love it here. They're so good. They're so tea. It's just a vibe. Like, it's just a vibe. So if you haven't tried a girl, like, this is your sign to go ahead and try it so tonight tally is actually a phenomenal like mixologist a cocktail specialist so um she's gonna be making them tonight for the girls and i'm gonna be in charge of the food but yeah i'm so excited this is gonna be like a little pre-game to all the valentine's festivities we have one on this weekend and i just feel like we can really benefit from this um i love cooking it just brings friends together family together it just brings everybody together and i just really love to cook and just have my friends over and i'm excited and galentine's party is tomorrow like i'm just i'm just really excited so yeah girl i'm gonna give y'all a little grocery haul well it's not a grocery haul because i got other things that aren't like groceries let's go ahead and get into what i got first from costco i got this um lychee nectar this is just like lychee juice a hundred percent to lychee juice girl like do you see that oh so good and i had to go to costco to get this because literally like it's so hard to find like organic lychee products in like regular grocery stores i guess they have lychee products in like the farmers markets and stuff but babe i'm not about to drive 35 40 minutes to go get no lychee stuff so i went to costco and costco had what i needed so in this it just says like lychee puree water sugar natural flavors essentially it's the most organic lychee nectar you're gonna find girl so i got this and then obviously i got the lychee fruit oh my gosh when i go out i always ask for extra lychee fruit like i just literally love lychee fruit so much so y'all know i'm about to go ham when i make my cocktail so this is what the lychee fruit looks like of course you have to peel the shell off and then the actual fruit obviously is inside but i'm really excited i'm so excited and i know tally is about to kill this okay moving along from costco i also picked up some new flowers i'm so excited i got two dozen so 24 white roses and i'm really excited to you know refresh my home bouquet i feel like as a woman as a girl keeping like fresh flowers in your home is just so essential these are obviously dying <laughs> these are like so crusty dusty girl like when i rinse this water out i know what's gonna be like so stink but these were my last bouquet so obviously they need to be replaced so I just picked up some white ones and I'm really excited. I feel like it's always good to like show up for yourself. Like if y'all don't learn anything else or gain anything else from my channel, like I want y'all to know that like, you need to prioritize you. Solo time is so important, solo dates. You know what I'm saying? Keep yourself up to par, get your nails done, get your hair done, buy yourself flowers. Like if you don't show up for yourself and treat yourself how you want to be treated, how can you expect that treatment from other people? You can't. You can't, because now you're a hypocrite. 
Now you're a hypocrite. Moving along, girl. We also got um, this is magnesium powder. I know y'all have been seeing the girls on TikTok with this little like um sleepy girl mocktail recipe, whatever. Essentially, it's supposed to help you go to sleep. So I was thinking about making this sometime over the next couple of days, and you need magnesium powder. I just chose this one. It's flavored because I know they were saying the um sleepy girl mocktail can be a little bit bitter, and I didn't want it to be too bitter. So I got this one. I think it's like strawberry and lemon. No, no, this is raspberry lemon, sorry. So, and I think it's gonna pair really well with the um, cherry tart juice. I'm not gonna say my sleep schedule is like awful, but there are some nights where I literally feel like it's impossible for me to go to sleep, which is terrible. So hopefully that works. And obviously we'll make it together. So I'll give you guys an update on if it actually makes me sleepy or not. We got some fresh asparagus for our dinner tonight. I'm really excited to make this. I haven't made asparagus in a while, so I'm super excited. And then moving along, girl, here are the lamb chops of the night. What brand is this? This is the Kirkland brand. So how many come in here? Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got 16 lamb chops. I got two packs of eight lamb chops. And I'm so excited, y'all. Like, your girl gonna be making lamb chops Period. And this next item um, wasn't a necessity, but they were having a sale, so I just kind of went for it. And plus I need some new like dinnerware. I thought this would be the perfect time to just get some since I'm hosting a girls night. I wanna open it up right now. Let me get something before I break my nail. I'm gonna open it up now just to kind of show you guys. Okay, this is about to piss me off. Why do I always have a hard time opening up stuff? Let's see what it's giving. It comes with 12 pieces, appetizer plates, like smaller plates, and then um, full size, like dinner plates, and then bowls. And I really needed like all three of those things. So honestly, this was a necessity, but like, you know how you just go in the store and you end up coming out with something that you didn't really need? This was that. Okay. Why is it so hard to take out? So, Okay. Yo, if I break my nail right before my Valentine's party, maybe I can like dump it, but is it gonna break? I'm about to get pissed off for real, <laughs> like no cap. Okay, you know what? Y'all gonna have to wait until I plate my lamb chops tonight. Cause I don't use these plates. So y'all gonna wait till then because I don't have the energy. <laughs> I don't have the energy to do this right now. Like, literally, I don't. Moving right along to Publix. Um, I stopped there. I got some time for the lamb chops. And then I got, um, what is this? Vanilla lemon flavor. Oh, wait, no, this is not lemon. Oh, no, I meant to get the lemon cake with the icing on it. I got some garlic. I got some garlic powder. Oh, this is minced garlic, by the way. And then I got some fresh chopped parsley. These are for the drinks to put the lychee on for the garnishment for the martinis. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Then I got this honey barbecue sauce. I'm gonna use this as a base, but I'm obviously gonna add my own little twist to it for the glaze. I got some white pepper <laughs> and I got some onion powder. I got some A1 steak sauce and I got some organic extra virgin olive oil and that's the haul for the girls for the night okay we'll see like that's what it's giving that being said first things first I am going to take out these dead roses and put the new ones in straighten up a little bit for the girls and get started on dinner I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a montage with like some nice music because I love editing and like putting the music over it or should I just talk you guys through it? I don't have a lot of time, so it's giving montage. <laughs> Cause if I start yapping, I'm never gonna stop. Y'all know I talk all day. So that being said, um, I'm gonna see y'all when I start doing what I gotta do.
know so I know. I miss her too. I've been on a way. Let's see. pajamas with you guys so you can get my first reaction to them i don't know why it was on packaging it's always like so hard so cute all the girls are wearing pink so you don't have to give me some super cute pink pajamas and the link to them will be down below in the description box in case you want some cute pink pajamas okay because these are like so cute oh my gosh it looks just like the pictures so cute and like girly and this is the top super cute let me give you guys like a close-up look can y'all see so cute the little bow like the bottom these are so cute and then i also got some shorts to go with her shorts look like this they also have the little lace detailing at the bottom so yeah i'm getting ready i'm really excited to see all the girls and of course we're vlogging so i'm gonna bring y'all too so i hope y'all are excited too and last night was so much fun like the girls love my food y'all we got toe up i don't know how much footage i'm gonna put in the vlog because I'm kind of embarrassed but um the girls had a lot of fun they loved my food it was a good time and honestly this weekend has been so tea like all the girls the galentine's parties like don't get me wrong i love like my space and being alone and like my sunday resets and like you know just being by myself but it's nothing like being with your girls like it's nothing like being with your girls so i'm really excited so let's go ahead and change into this you guys period Period, 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 period. Like, it literally is giving. I'm not gonna keep these clips in my hair. This was just so I could, like, have my braids on my face while I do my makeup. But I kind of like the updo, like, look. I think I'm gonna, like, leave my hair up. It looks really nice. Oh, ah! It looks so cute, y'all. Like, I was not expecting Amazon to eat how Amazon is eating. But I'm not gonna lie, the wrinkledness of this is like kind of bothering me. But then again, I kind of like it. Like it's wrinkled because it's been in the packaging obviously, but like, is it that serious? I don't know, but I know I feel really nice in it. Like it looks so good. I was not expecting this. Amazon, 
a down and what kind of girl would i be if i didn't put my glitter on so this is my combo that i do i'm gonna do like some of this baby oil gel um johnson's y'all know what this is and then i'm gonna put that on first and then i'm gonna go in with this this is um from bath and body works it's a shimmer mist and it makes your like body like really glowy nice i was using the tom ford one you guys know but that i think gave me a rash i was using it on my neck when i was in great cayman and like my neck y'all was like like peeling like it was like itchy like scaly like it was gross so i don't know what they use in the tom ford um body glow oil but babe my skin don't agree with it so i've been using this and it has been so nice i think the glitter in that one may be a little bit too harsh for me so we're gonna do with the Beth and body works i love it the glitter lasts all night and it's just really nice i love to use the gel prior like as a good base because this gives me a really nice shine. Put some on my chest, you are the vibes. It wants to be all glazed and shiny and dewy baby, okay? And if you do use this, be careful to not like get it on your clothes because girl, oil will stain, okay? And that's gonna ruin the whole night. I'm gonna go in with this next and just spray it on me. You can do it on your hand and then rub it, but I want like a lot, I want it to be glowing. So, and like super shiny, so I'm gonna just spray it. I always get compliments. When I do this combo, like the glitter just adds a different type of vibe. Notice I'm not putting it on my neck because I don't know why my neck is so like, girl, like the rash was not cute. Period, 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 period. Get into it, get into it, get into it, get into it. I need to hurry up. I need to hurry up. Okay. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to find a hair tie. I organized the underneath my cabinet, but for some reason it always just ends up being a mess again. Like I don't understand. So the hair is back. That looks really good. One thing about this hairstyle, y'all, it literally gets stuck and like tangled. Like, and this is human hair, so like I don't understand. It looks really good though. This is the back. Hopefully it doesn't look a mess back here. How it look, y'all? Because I can't see. I can't freaking see. Okay. Period. And then for fragrance, we're going to be doing Gucci Flora. This is perfect for my Valentine's party. It just fits the vibe. Super sweet, feminine, girly, and I'm going to smell so good. This is so exciting. Like, honestly, getting ready for stuff is, like, my favorite thing ever. And then I have this body mist by Victoria's Secret. It's called Velvet Petals. This is so sweet. When I have my extensions in, I typically use this as, like, a hair perfume. When I have, like, my bundles in and stuff. Because it's super light and it just smells good on your hair but i'm gonna put it on over the gucci flora and that is the final look i'm so excited um i'm gonna go ahead and finish packing my last minute things and more than likely i will see you guys once we arrive to the party because it's dark outside um y'all know daylight savings is saving a lot of daylight these days so it's already dark so it's no point to like vlog in the car so i'm just gonna see y'all once we get there
Alrighty, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, uh, last night. Can we talk about last night? Last night was so nice. It was so funny because Taylor was actually crying, y'all. Like, she was so overwhelmed. All the love and all the girls, like, we showed up for each other. Everyone was dressed in their pink pajamas. The food, the decorations, like, the vibes. Everything was, like, so much fun. And I tried to vlog as much as possible, but y'all know the vibes. When the vibes get to vibing, it's just really hard to, like, vlog so I don't even know what the footage is gonna look like hopefully it's good I don't know we gonna see but I'm excited today is Sunday today is Super Bowl Sunday okay I'm not a football girl I'm not gonna lie to y'all like I know what's going on I think I know who's playing um the 49ers are playing um I don't even know who the other team is I'm not gonna lie I'm not a football girly I have no interest in sports honestly if I'm being 100% honest but what I am interested in is Usher y'all know this like I love Usher down hold on let me make sure I'm going the right way okay yeah so I love Usher if you know me then you must know this like I just it's something about Usher it's something about him I went to his residency show last April I want to say in Vegas and that was my first time ever seeing him perform and I was literally crying like it was such an iconic experience and we had really good seats I was sitting a couple rows down from like Zendaya and like Tom Holland like I got videos of them it was great time was had for sure and one thing about Usher like he just really puts on a show and it's just it's just like unexplainable truly and I just love Usher like literally love him down mom and I were talking and we were trying to guess like what songs he's gonna perform during the Super Bowl this is my bet okay let me tell y'all my bet and I'm gonna tell y'all what she said okay and later on tonight we're gonna see who was right so we both agreed that he was gonna come out singing yeah okay like the, yeah 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 yeah, like that's obvious, right? He's gonna come out, he's gonna be singing Yeah. And then I know Alicia Keys is a special guest and who don't know my boo? There's always that one person that will always, uh, uh, uh. Like, you know what I'm saying? So they're definitely gonna perform that together, like for sure. And this might be a long shot, but I think he's gonna perform Climax as well i feel like um it's a very like well-rounded song that's my answer climax yeah and my boo i think he's gonna perform those three songs hopefully i'm right because i bet my mom twenty dollars and mom answers were so far off y'all i don't think she was right we both agreed on yeah and then she said he's gonna perform um confessions and then she said he's gonna perform um the song where it's like it's seven o'clock on the dot i'm in my drop top like no those are not like super bowl performance like songs in my opinion i mean if he does perform those songs i'm sure i mean it's usher he's, he's gonna make it you know great either way but like if i was on his team like i don't really see those being like super bowl songs especially not confessions because that song is just so overly I mean, it's not overly sexual, but it's a sexual song. Anyways, y'all, so today is Sunday, like I was saying, and I'm on the way to Costco's to get some groceries. The girls and I are hosting a Super Bowl party, and we need food. You know, food bring people together, okay? And one of the reasons why I just love February is because I feel like this has been the most, like, socially available all my friends have been in a long time like all of us hanging out all of us eating drinking having a good time dancing like just really enjoying each other's company and i feel like that's what february is about that's what february is about like friday night um tally and i and her cousin we all went out and then saturday was the galentine's and then today's sunday and we're doing super bowl party like this is just an iconic weekend like such an iconic weekend and as far as the menu goes we're doing like basic super bowl food right so you have like your meatballs you got your sliders chicken wings hot wings lemon pepper wings what else are we doing um meatballs i said meatballs tail dip i volunteered to bring the chicken wings i'm gonna do lemon pepper and then angel's gonna do okay sorry no i'm gonna do hot <laughs> like mild hot and then Angel's gonna do lemon pepper. And then I also volunteered to do the turkey sliders, Hawaiian rolls, turkey, provolone, lettuce, and tomato. But I know people are weird about tomatoes. Me personally, I love tomatoes. So I gotta check with the girls and see like 
is it giving tomatoes? Because I don't know. And I know when my mom watches this, she's gonna be like, who goes to Costco on Sunday? Super Bowl Sunday at that. In Atlanta, like honestly, this is the worst time to go. Like it's already Sunday and then it's Super Bowl Sunday and it's in Atlanta. So overpopulated, there was just no beating that today because this is crazy and it's no parks. Um, Y'all, it's literally no parks. I'm not even exaggerating because sometimes I'll be exaggerating. This is like, this is like insanity. Is she leaving? That's so far though. I don't want to park. Ugh. I'm not doing that. There has to be a park. Someone has to be leaving. Like I see everyone walking out with their carts. So I'm gonna like follow someone. Are they leaving? Oh yes, he's, oh yeah. Y'all, they're leaving. Like, look at this. At the same time, the Tessie and the black truck in front of the Tessie. I'm about to get this Tessie park though because it's super close. Period, pulling right in. Love to see it. We love to see it. Period. 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 Okay, because Lord knows I did not feel like walking far. I did a 30 minute like core workout today and my abs are tired and I'm tired. So walking was just not an option for me right now. All right, y'all. So we're back home. I had every intention on like bringing y'all in there with me to Costco, but I underestimated how busy it was going to be in there. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> like don't get me wrong like i'll vlog in public like y'all know i don't care but like it was too much going on like, i was getting anxiety i'm like look i just need to get my chicken wings and my little ingredients for my sliders and i need to get up out of here it was too much going on like i was so overstimulated like i don't understand how people like go to costco on like the weekend like that it's not for the week um anywho so we're back home um, I'm about to start cooking. It's literally not gonna take me long at all. I also went to Publix as well because um, they didn't have everything I needed at Costco. So I got this, this is Kinder's Honey Hot. So I was thinking I'm gonna do a few of this flavor. And then I also, y'all know I had to get Sweet Baby Rays. I mean, y'all knew I had to get Sweet Baby Rays. I also got this um, Buffalo, regular, traditional buffalo wing sauce. I'm about to go ahead and clean and season my chicken, get it all prepped to be cooked. Then I'm gonna put my sauces in the bowl. And once the chicken is cooked, we're gonna put the sauce in the chicken, give it a little shake, a little shaky, shaky shake, and go ahead and toss those. I need to figure out how I'm gonna plate them to bring it over to Angel's, cause I didn't get anything. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but I didn't get anything. I think I may have something here though, but I'm not too sure about that. While the chicken is cooking, I'm gonna um, be prepping my sliders. I have these Hawaiian rolls. I bought these at Costco. It comes in a pack of two. And then I got some lettuce, some romaine, some provolone cheese. The girls said no to tomatoes, so no tomatoes. We're gonna do um, turkey breast. I got a pack of this turkey breast. Now this will get eaten, hopefully. I don't plan on traveling anytime soon. And I really want to start like cooking more at home or like not even cooking, just like eating like little snacks or just, just, just being home girl. Like I just need to be home. So being that I bought a lot of this stuff in bulk, it will force me to eat at home. So yeah, girl, we're going to get started. Get this party started. Okay. I'll probably do a cute little montage. I don't really have a lot of time to like talk y'all through the process. Y'all know how to make this chicken wings and turkey sliders. Do we really need a whole talk through process, Mariah? Not really. Yeah. 
by myself. You around, she's around, it's people like not leave for out. Here are the sliders. The sliders are sliding, baby. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and package everything up and then I will see you guys at Angel's. The super bugs, I have my name. Y'all, who y'all betting on? 49. Yeah, I'm betting on Usher. I don't watch football, so. Yo, Taylor, why I saw this tweet, it was like, why they playing football at Usher concerts? Say that. I could have said that. Well, I'm gonna say that. Got this little cake, some brownies, some tebmana, some jelly ones. My girl got a little game day balloon. Like, I love this setup. We got some zip, some equals, and then my wings. up y'all so as you can obviously tell i'm back at home it's a lot later the super bowl party was a success like me and the girls pulled out together like very last minute and all the food was good literally there was no to-go place there was nothing to take home like we ate everything like the vibes were vibing okay but um unfortunately i did decide to go home a little bit earlier than like i normally do when i hang out with my friends just because y'all i'm trying to lock in okay i'm trying to lock in and as y'all have been seeing in this vlog this whole weekend was just full of events and monday morning i have a um 9 30 or it's at nine i gotta check a uh, hot yoga class we're moving our bodies every single day so i wanted to go ahead and head home and like do my skincare take a shower and just get ready for tomorrow okay but before i go ahead and close out this vlog i'm gonna make um a little sleepy time drink with you guys i talked about this a little bit earlier in the vlog i got the powder it's a magnesium powder i got the powder from costco i think yeah costco so basically before i go to bed we're gonna be making a sleepy time drink but there's a small little twist i'm doing so the normal way that i'd be seeing everybody on tiktok um do it is like a mocktail version so it's like cranberry tart juice the magnesium powder and all the other ingredients um so it's like a mocktail right i'm doing a smoothie i'm doing a smoothie i feel like i just need some fruit so we're gonna be doing a smoothie. I'm gonna put the magnesium powder in the smoothie. So magnesium is just really good for, you know, helping you fall asleep, giving you just better sleep overall. And I've actually never tried this before. Um, melatonin, for me personally, like makes me feel like crap. So we're not gonna be taking melatonin. Like I can't take that. I mean, yeah, it works. It does its job, but like the next morning I feel horrible so hopefully this is like a better like more organic you know type of thing and honestly if your sleep schedule is like throwed off or you find like a very hard time like falling asleep at night girl try this give it give it a try okay like leave the melatonin where the melatonin needs to be we're doing magnesium okay so make sure you're subscribed so you can get updates on like the magnesium like my sleep schedule how it's been working for me because i want to help the girls this is the brand that i got it's a raspberry lemon flavor that's why i feel like it will pair really well with the um fruit smoothie that we're doing tonight so we're gonna take a screenshot this is what i got now let's go ahead and get into this serving size it says individual needs may vary start with a half a teaspoon daily and gradually increase to one scoop per day as needed so we're definitely gonna do half a teaspoon, okay. My fruit tonight of choice, I'm just doing strawberries and bananas and mango chunks and then um, a little a little bit of honey. I was gonna do agave, if you know me, you know I love agave and like my smoothies and stuff, but I ran out. So we're gonna do honey today. But if I had agave, I recommend agave. I haven't had like a smoothie at home in a while, so I'm really excited. And I used to put ice in um, my smoothies but i noticed like if the fruit is already frozen then you really don't need a whole bunch of ice y'all like, you really don't need a whole bunch of ice i already know i'm gonna get the best sleep tonight like one thing about me i will scroll on tiktok for hours and it's really so bad i'm thinking about <laughs> 
like deleting the app at night because girl like go to bed like and then y'all know how that um lady pop up or sometimes it be a man the man or the lady pop up and they be like have you been scrolling are you tired you know take a break like girl leave me alone i know i'm insane like let me be insane in the membrane okay go ahead and add our mango chunks i'm gonna do a little bit more mango because I just love, love the way they go taste. Then we're gonna do our honey. Honestly, I don't really have like a certain amount, like a um, exact measurement. That's good. And now for the grand finale, we're adding our powder. Hopefully y'all can see, can y'all see? <laughs> I'm over here like trying to make this smoothie y'all probably can't even see. Okay. okay, so the directions on the back of the container says start out. You know, it kind of ease your way into it. So I'm gonna do half. I probably don't even need half. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Okay, is that half? That should be good. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add the powder. I'm so excited. <laughs> Sleepy girl smoothie. Has anyone done this before? Am I like starting something new? I heard of a Sleepy Girl mocktail, but have y'all ever heard of a Sleepy Girl smoothie? Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and just blend her up, girl, and go ahead and get into it. Okay, maybe I should add some juice because <laughs> the fruit was pretty frozen. The fruit was definitely like rock solid hard. So maybe should we do? I'm gonna do pineapple. I'm gonna do pineapple. I'm gonna add a little bit of pineapple, y'all. Let's try this again because let's go. So I hope I didn't let it blend too long. I kind of got carried away. But um, let's see. Let's see. Okay, yeah, this is actually perfect. Hopefully it's good, y'all. I'm scared. Am I going to be asleep for a long time? I'm scared. <laughs> this is so, oh my gosh. Y'all look. What? Talk about perfect consistency for a smoothie. Can y'all see? <laughs> this is like really nice. Okay, y'all. So... Let's see what it's giving. Let me go ahead and get my straw. Hopefully it's good. Kind of nervous. I think I put too much banana. Ugh, I hope not. Are you guys ready? I'm scared. Okay. Girl. Mm. It's perfect. Smoothie King who? Tropical smoothie who? literally perfect i don't even taste the magnesium powder i don't know why i thought i was gonna taste it girl i don't know what's wrong with me but it's so good like it literally tastes just like a really good fruity you know mango strawberry banana smoothie and those were the vibes that i was going for this is so good i'm about to sleep so good tonight um so that being said girl unfortunately the vlog is ending here thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in to your girl okay i hope you guys enjoyed the fun weekend we had with all the girls the galentine's party um my little dinner i made for my friends we went out super bowl like this weekend was so eventful so if you're not subscribed girl like what are you doing what's happening okay we're posting new content new uploads every single week okay unless i'm on a trip but we're posting new uploads every week so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video Thanks for that taste of freedom.